Station Houston on two, are you ready for the events? We are ready for the event. Station, you may, be, may begin the Axiom Mission 1 farewell event. Tom, over to you. Thank you very much. Well, it's the uh, end of a 10-day mission. It's been uh, really super busy, actually, for everyone. We uh, feel very honored to be a part of this mission in which our Axiom-1 crewmates have brought up just an enormous suite of scientific experiments and their own capability and their camaraderie. Uh, the throughput of science uh, over this past 10, 10 days has been amazing. And we'd like to thank uh, JSC for their training, uh, all of the centers that have ramped up to uh, be talking to uh, more crew members and to be able to handle all this workload. But well, we've had a good time, I think, and uh, thanks to their training and thanks to their fortitude and their uh, bravery in coming up here and a little help from their friends, we think we've accomplished a lot up here. So uh, just a few words, this is such a uh, big um, historic time for us simply because uh, the Axiom-1 crew is opening the door. We hope a private, uh, future private astronaut missions will continue to open the door to uh, more space flights, getting more people into space, getting more science uh, done on the space station. And we feel like this is going to be the way things are for the decades to come, and we're really looking forward to it. So thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone on the ground. And uh, over to you, Mike. Thanks, Tom. Um, just a couple of reflections. First of all, from a sort of a crew perspective, at, at least personally, I think I could speak for all of us. Um, it's been uh, an amazing experience. A few adjectives may be um, unique, certainly magnificent, and to some degree humbling, but I think more than anything, very, very rewarding. And if we zoom out a bit, and Tom talked a lot about how much science was accomplished and um, how hard we were working, and I echo Tom's thanks not only to teams in Houston, but Huntsville, as well as the other centers around the world. It was a very, very busy time for us. We hit the ground running, and uh, I feel like we just about got to that finish tape and have started to slow down after that sprint. Um, but, you know, it's been uh, not only very rewarding for us as a crew, but I think, as Tom mentioned, this really begins a new era of human spaceflight where people, other than just government astronauts, who are obviously very professionally trained and prepared, can come up with a, a little bit less training, but still able to function in this very unique and sometimes challenging environment. And I think that is sort of a first step toward a real democratization of this experience. It's going to take a while because the prices obviously are quite high now, but we think that in the future, this will be something that we can share with more and more piece, part of humanity and will make humankind uh, all the better for it. Let me pass it over to Larry. First, uh, thanks to Crew 3. The fact is, without their help, support, coaching, mentorship, there's absolutely no way we would have been able to accomplish this wider range of experiments over the last uh, eight days. It was, as Mike said, an aggressive schedule. Uh, fortunately, we were able to accomplish our objectives, and hopefully it'll lead to some great groundbreaking research. Also, too, we conducted as a team over 15 educational outreaches to youth all across the world, not just in the United States. So hopefully that'll make a positive impact on the uh, uh, next generation. And if you ask me, well, what's the experience been like? Exhilarating and unique. Lastly, thanks to uh, NASA, all the folks at Huntsville for supporting us, because again, without their key uh, involvement, coaching, direction, this would not be possible. I'm going to turn it over to Mark. Mark, your mic is off.
Sorry, it sound like a bit like a broken record here, repeating a lot of the same things, but uh, what an amazing, incredible 10 days this has been. Uh, been eye-opening in so many ways that I think will have such a lasting impact on my life and I think the lives of, of everybody around me. Uh, the, the ISS crew uh, was so instrumental in helping us to achieve all of our scientific objectives, not to mention greatly contributing to the depth of our personal experiences. So thanks to all of you very much for all that. And I also want to make a, a shout out to the folks at uh, NASA and Huntsville for dealing with the you know, massive increase in activity while we were here um, and dealing with us with, uh, with patience and professionalism and getting us through all this. Thanks a lot. Um, so with that, I'll hand it over to Ethan. Thank you all. I'll say a few words in Hebrew. איחרתי לפגישה הזאת כי בדיוק היה מעבר מעל ישראל ועם שמיים בהירים אז זה היה כיף גדול לראות את ישראל מצפון עד דרום עשרה ימים פה היו מיוחדים במינם, כל הצוות, כל מי שרואים פה בתמונה נתן יד ואנחנו עזרנו להם בפעילויות שלהם והשיתוף פעולה הבינלאומי הזה הוא מרשים ומיוחד במינו למדנו המון ואני מרגיש כאילו רק התחלתי ואני מוכן להישאר פה עוד איזה חודש. אז שלום לכולם וחג שמח. Tom, I'll pass it to you in just a sec, but I just want to uh, echo what everybody said about how gracious and patient Crew 3 has been with us. They've shared their time, their wisdom, their food, their stories, and honestly, especially the first couple of days, we would not have got through there without them bailing us out on more than one occasion. But it's been a very steady and gentle hand guiding us through these 10 days. And uh, I just, Tom, we're very, very grateful to you, Kayla, Raja, and Matias. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. And um, we wish the Axiom 1 crew, Godspeed. Thanks, Mike L.A., for your uh, leadership as well as commander of the Axiom 1 mission. Um, it's been great to see you back here again and uh, hope to see a lot more PAM missions into the future. So uh, safe travels and I uh, hope you have a soft splashdown and calm seas when you get back home. And uh, thanks also to our Russian crewmates. You know, they pulled off a, a complex, long, uh, arduous uh, spacewalk yesterday. Uh, didn't miss a beat uh, with all the other activity over here. And uh, thanks to, to all of you as well. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Station Houston, we're now resuming operational audio comms.